Hello. So we are live on Facebook. And I just wanted to come on here and do a few quick um, predictions for the astrology signs. I've been so busy this week. Um, I've had to, I've had to slow down and I'm really sorry. Um, and some things that that you know I want to do, I'm having to, I'm having to, you know, postpone or not do these ones. And so, so yeah, so I'm really sorry um, if I'm messing about with other people. Um, and uh, you know, if people aren't, you know, expecting the the weekly ones to be as long as they always are, I'm really sorry they won't be um, just this week. Hopefully I'll go back to do the longer ones um, after that. Okay, so just wanted to let you know a few things that are going on. Um, so I'm still doing my um, 10 week psychic development course and that's going really well. Um, this is, um, we're on week 10, so we're nearly finished. Okay, the 10 week one. Um, it will be continuing and the following week, uh, so this week was the last of that 10 week uh, course and they all did amazing. They, they really have, um, they've done all sorts of things. Um, so um, let me try and let you know what sort of things they have been doing. Um, I've got my Facebook page up. So let me see. So these are the things that they have been doing and I'm gonna be obviously doing uh, more. So the week one, they did divination, crystals, crystal ball readings, tea leaf readings, water readings, pebbles to paper readings, uh, pendulums. Week two, they did elements. So working with each element, um, working with astrology linked with tarot and the elements and the connection when giving a mediumship reading. Week three, they did Atlantis recall. So we went into um, astral travel or went back in time to remote view or look at the Akashic records. Week four, we did I Ching runes and Oracle. Uh, week five, we did numerology. What's in the numbers? What's the life path, birth number? Um, what are your angel numbers? Um, week six was angels, archangels and how they can and will help us uh, to let go of any obstacles uh, so you can be free to live your true life path without obstacles. Um, week seven, we did graphology, which is um, all to do with your handwriting, um, working out your own personality as well as pers personalities of other people around you. Um, week eight was clearances, houses, people, um, and we did paranormal, um, um, you know, tools, EMF meters, dowsing rods, pendulums. Um, we did a spirit box, uh, lots of different things. And we also looked at the difference between dust and orbs. Okay, week nine, uh, Native American Indians and shamanic class. And week 10, which was tonight, was the um, trance, overshadowing, channeling and mediumship. So it has been an amazing journey and I'm so proud of each and every one of you guys um, who attended the classes you know you really did do well um, you know so I've I feel so strongly about that I'm gonna be doing them um, a certificate which they can um, then you know keep and and show off whatever you know however they want to so so yeah, so it's it's um it was good, it was great fun, okay. Um, but the Monday classes won't change; they will still carry on. It will just be it won't be the ten week set course. Um, it will be a different subject each week, which we'll do. So if anybody does want to join in, um, and join us on that on Mondays, um, it is um now you've got to forgive me on the time differences, okay? There's different time differences now. Um, so I know that the American uh, time clock has gone either back or forward. I'm not sure. Well, it was four hours difference rather than five hours distance difference on Eastern time. 
Um, so I'm just going to give you the UK times and hopefully you guys can work it out from there. Um, just this this week um, until we can get our head together uh, with what is what. Um, so it works out at 7.30 p.m. and that is UK time. It was before the changeover. It was 2.30 p.m. Eastern and 11.30 a.m. Pacific time. But now it's it's different. So. Um, you'll have to work out in your time frame uh, what that difference is. is. Um, and it's five pounds, which works out about seven dollars. OK, so um, all the details on how to um, sign up and pay for the course, um, you know, you can you can do that. The other thing is for five dollars, which works out about, um, I would say, three fifty, something like that. I can send you over um, the recorded uh, version of each each of those classes or well, some of them I haven't recorded I know I've recorded the graphology one and a couple of the others uh, so if you wanted to um, to see those or you know to purchase those um, obviously you're going to get some of me chatting you're going to get the laughter of the group it's not going to be like a, a webinar, you know you've got to um, you've got to expect that it is just like you're a fly on the wall to to the class okay um but you'll still get the gist of it and you'll still understand what all the lessons were about okay so yeah message me if there's any any of those lessons that you feel that you would like the um the class and see if i've recorded it and i'll send it to you um at the moment i'm still offering ten dollars off um, or rebooks. So if you've had a reading with me or if you've come to one of the classes, um, then you can um, have £10, $10 off. Sorry. Um, you can go to the website psychicalley.net and um, click on the rebook button there. Okay. Um, with the astrology readings, make sure that you pick the, um, the sun, moon, and rising. Okay. So if you don't know what your sun, moon and rising is, then go to a search engine and add in uh, to the search engine. Um, what is my sun, moon and rising? And um, it will bring it up. And all you have to do is put the location, the time and the date of your birth. And it will give you that. So you will then be looking at three different uh readings three different astrology unless you're greg who's a triple libra and then it's just one um i'm a piscean um sagittarius i've got sagittarius there and i've also got libra okay so um you know there's my mixture so work out your own okay what your differences are um because um sometimes it does blend together um, you get a, an overall um an overall picture of your personality and what's going on this this next week um so you've got um for greg as you know that you know we're connected um we're soon to be married fingers crossed um so greg prescott of in 5d um he is still selling the ladies t-shirts the slim fit t-shirts um and these are 50 percent off which works out only 15 dollars okay each and these this does include the ice tie dyes okay so if you wanted to make the most of that offer um, that's going ahead these t-shirts are made there's lots of other uh, t-shirts as well um, tie-dye t-shirts so you can go along to in5d.net and have a look at um, some of the wonderful um, designs there is all different colors it's made with 99.9 percent .9 quartz crystal sand and also um, different crystals that make up the inks uh, within um, these, um, these, these dyes that uh, he uses. So um, it, they really are incredible. And you do have, um, people have reported that they have lucid dreaming, that they have, um, you know, lots of profound experiences and psychic development um, because of the, um, you know the energy of the t-shirt so um so i highly recommend them um if you wanted to be part of the in 5d family you can go to um patreon.com forward slash in 5d 
and you can join for as little as one dollar eleven a month. Um, anything is great, greatly received. So um, what I'm going to be doing is going through the astrology um, signs and um, so I'm going to be doing only a little prediction for each of them. That's why it's all on one video today instead of the four videos. So um, we're going to start off with, uh, we're going to do water signs to start with. Okay, so that will be um, sorry, I'm trying to write as well as um, and talk. It doesn't really go well with me. Um, so the water signs, which is Scorpio, Pisces, and then Cancerians. And then I'm going to do earth signs, which are Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Then I will do the fire signs, which is Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, and then we'll finish off with the air signs, which are Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Okay, so, and all of these will be for the 16th of March through to the 21st of March. So I'm sorry they're a little bit late, um, but like I said, it has been a bit manic. I have had uh, furniture delivered which didn't actually fit in my bedroom, then had to be dismantled and taken down. Um, and then everything was chaos. Uh, so I decided that I'd got too much clutter. And so I've been going through every cupboard and every space and, and everything. So I'm in a right pickle, or I was in a right pickle. So it is actually um, much better now. So um, that's kind of what has been taken over my world um, at the moment. Okay, let me just have a, a quick, quick drink. Mm -hmm. So let's have a look at Scorpio. Okay, Scorpios, this is basically what's going on with Scorpios, okay, for this week. Let me tune into Scorpio energy. Right. Scorpios. OK, so Scorpios, there's a feeling of try not to take everything to heart. Uh, try and be open minded about um, information that's coming to you. Um, sometimes we always think that someone's, you know, someone's talking about us and um, there's so much negativity around. And, you know, why did they look at me in this way? You know, what did they mean by it? So I feel that your sensitivity levels are really, really high. Either that or you're going to have somebody around you who is being like that to you. OK, because obviously um, when I'm doing these types of readings, um, we have, um, you know, there's so many different Scorpio characters. Does that make sense? And, you know, I never know which role each person is playing. So some people will be playing the lead role and some people will be playing um, the sub role. OK, so um, so anyway, yeah, there's going to be kind of a feeling of um, paranoia of, um, you know, insecurity energy. Um, I feel that there's a need to kind of take a look at yourself and see if you could possibly make your life um, simpler by choosing differently, by choosing you know, to strengthen up yourself by, you know, um, is there something in your life that is making you um, feel paranoid? You know, are you taking anything that makes paranoia worse? Are you, are you doing anything in your life that um, would, would lead to having doubt about yourself or um, about people around you? Is there someone who is continuously making you feel, um, you know, defensive, okay. Um, I'm, I'm seeing that there's gonna be um, a close 
connectedness between you and I feel as if I'm talking about a pet, um, you know, or feeling as if I'm ready and I want to buy a pet. I want to buy uh, something to take care of. Um, maybe there's another issue about pets and responsibilities and, you know, feeling as though I've got to make some decisions about um, a pet. OK, that that type of uh, feeling. OK, emotionally this week, um, is there somebody around you who's being a little bit too needy and is needing to um, maybe um, stand on their own two feet a little bit more? Maybe you're having to do tough love with them. OK, this will probably feel like it's draining you because you don't really want to be um, doing tough love. Do you see what I mean? So um, that's not nice. But, um, you know, sometimes in life we have to be we have to play certain certain roles um, and, and take on certain responsibilities. And they're not always the nicest. OK, so that's um, Scorpio. Now I'm going to do um, Pisces. OK, so let's have a look and see what's going on with Pisces. This is for, again, the 16th of March through to the 21st of March 2021. Right, so all action stations, OK? Um, everything is go, go, go. There's no stopping you. I really feel very strongly about um, the, the pushing forward with plans. You know, if you have been delayed with anything, if you have been unsure about, you know, whether you're going to take on that challenge or that role, the answer is right now, um, it's the perfect time. Um, everything is, you know, is matching up nicely. Okay, it's like um, step by step. I can see concentration on travel plans and making some firm decisions on travel plans um, because it feels as if it's it's like I'm focused and ready to go forward with this. Um, I'm no longer holding back. Um, this feels right with everything um, in my soul energy. There's a complication or a complicated love life matter um, around you Pisceans this week. Um, and I feel that there's a need to um, it, well, you feel as if you've got to juggle your time, your energy um, and your emotions around. Now, if this isn't you directly, OK, it can be another relationship around you that is affecting you in some way. It's it's kind of, you know, it's it's back, basically can backfire into your world, uh, which you are not very impressed with. So it feels as if it's it cover your cover your ass, so to speak. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, make sure that you don't take uh, take on board anybody else's um, crap on your shoulders. Um, if it is yours, then it means that you are coming to a point of dealing with this situation once and for all. Um, there will be a breaking free of energies, breaking free of anything that is um, leading you to um, to feel stressed. It's like decluttering. Um, all around here. Um, there is some personal relationships around you that make me feel as if it's going really well, okay? Um, so communication lines are quite good, um, but some people won't like, won't like it because you're being quite direct, okay? Um, that's what I'm feeling, okay, around you, okay? So that is um, Pisces, okay? So we're going to do Cancerians now. Um, so, sip of drink again. Mm -hmm. Cancerians, shuffle the cards. Sixteenth to the twenty-first. Okay, Cancerians, they're showing me study, learning, study, development, um, dissecting things, looking into, you know, what the truth is. Um, you're definitely, it's information overload is going to be happening this week. 
and not in a bad way, in a productive way. So it's like, you know, whatever I need to find out, I'm going to find out. Um, I'm going to look into this. OK, this is something important to me. Um, I feel that you're ready to take on a gamble, uh, take on um, maybe something new as responsibility. You know, this is the time. Um, so it's after this research is being done, um, there will be a boost of confidence, um, a feeling of lots of smiles and um, of being able to see the pathway forward and to know that you've done enough research uh, to make everything, um, you know, go, go uh, smoothly. So to do with preparation, I feel that you have been having to look at things from a different angle, look at life from a different angle, look at, um, look at the um, situation from somebody else's point of view, or, you know, look at it from future, look at it from the past, look at it from the side. Um, everything is being dissected here. And I feel this is to do with your ambitions um, or something that you desire. So that desire could be a relationship or it could be, um, a job but it's definitely the passion energy is there um, and you are looking into things and um, analyzing and really taking um, taking a lot of concentration on it I can see around um, Cancerians some partnership um, and a lovely feeling of connectedness okay so it's you and this person getting on very very well um, and understanding each other um, without even trying so um, lots of, um, it's like perfect uh, unionship is going on between you and somebody very, very close at this time. Um, it can be a new person or an existing person, um, but communication is well. Um, there is some ideas going off about your future and what you're going to do next. Okay, so you've come into this um, um, it's like a, a concentration energy. You've come into that energy and now uh, you're going to, um, it, it's like it's like that's done and now we've got to con continue uh, with maybe the next level, going up a level, okay? Uh, so that is Cancerians. So that's all the water signs, everyone. Okay, so um, I'm just going to put all the cards back and then we're going to do earth signs now so we're going to do start off with Taurus then Virgo then um, Capricorn those those and those okay I feel lower down today in the chair I don't know why um can't remember taking cushions from underneath me. Okay, so Taurus, let's have a look at Taurus. What is going on uh, with Taurians for this next coming week? Mm -hmm. um, what's coming into my mind is, you know when people say a bullet in a china shop, um, so there's going to be an energy of clumsiness or put your foot in it energy um, around you at this time, um, which is going to be quite frustrating. And there is a, a probable need to be careful about what it is that you're um, that you're talking about or how you're talking about someone. Uh, don't get caught out. OK. I'm seeing gossip, you know, and things becoming awkward between you and someone else. So Taurus. Okay, so you are so ready to move out of this judgment energy where one person is judging another person. One person is overly sensitive while um, the other person is continuously saying sorry or continuously trying to make up for their bad behavior um, but 
I will say, you know, it's not always um, your fault if it's you or, you know, are you blaming somebody else uh, for, you know, them, you know, saying the wrong thing or doing the wrong thing or are you being a little bit too harsh with them? OK, so it's time to understand what this is all about. Why, are the, why is the communication um, levels broken down? You know, what is it about um, and why? Uh, why is it going like this? Sometimes there's a feeling of being kind of drowning in this um, this feeling of oppression. And, you know, you've been inside your little cocoon, OK, of safety. Um, and you're wanting to break these walls down. OK, I'm going to show you the card so that you can see. I'm not just saying it just because of what's going on in the world. <laughs> Um, you can see this card and it's basically saying, you know, I'm, you know, although I'm resting up, um, part of me is feeling as though, um, you know, I, I'm, I don't want to keep, you know, being so sensible. I'm ready to take a chance. I'm ready to expand my life. We then have the chariot card, um, which says looking at things in black and white. Um, and understanding the truth. And I do feel that there is more research going on um, independently by yourself than ever before. It's like you're looking into things that other people have been um, speaking about and you're finding out your own truth. Um, so there's lots of analyzing going on. Um, I feel that you are playing a, a one big game of, um, of chess or that's how you've been made to feel that, that you know, um, someone else is playing um, and everybody in uh, the country is the pawns. Do you see what I mean? And it's like they're being eliminated one by one by this um, person in their ivory tower, so to speak, um, you know, being judgmental and playing a game with us. So I feel that there's, there's a deep, a deep sense of, um, I don't want to play this game anymore. Um, this game is rigged um, and, uh, and this, is, this is not right. So very, very strong energy, okay? Um, so that is for uh, Taurians, okay. So we're doing Virgos, okay? Let's have a look at Virgos. That card just did not want to go back in the deck. Okay. So it's a seven of pentacles and I'm seeing that as, um, let's just concentrate, there it goes. There it goes. Yeah, it's the card that says, um, I, it's time to take a gamble it's time to concentrate on one thing um, that I feel um, is if it's going to be successful and put everything into that uh, to make it right, you know, to, um, to, to show the success that, there, that, that is coming along, you know. It's like, let's give this this best opportunity um, to succeed, okay. This, let's give it the best, best chance. And this is where all of this, all your concentration is going ahead. And um, I do feel that there is um, reward coming from, from that, okay, from that energy. Um, you've been doing a lot of Virgos of planning ahead, of looking at where you're going to go next. Uh, you know, you've completed this and now you need to go to the next phase or the next level. Um, and this next level will be uh, something that it, it to me it feels as if I've got to be ready for it in my own head and this is to do with the gamble is to do with the nurturing um, it's linked with money it's linked with work and it's linked with you know steady as you go um, I know what I'm doing okay so this is a very strong um, dissecting okay of your um your energy and your feelings 
um, ready to, it's like preparing yourself for battle, preparing yourself for um, this next plan. And I'm seeing this linked around money, a new job, um, new responsibility within a job, or starting a new business um, on the side of whatever you're doing. Um, there is a little obstacle that you're going to need to look at and see if you can get past that. Um, but this isn't going to stop you um, because the vision is too strong. OK, and you're basically saying to the universe, well, come on, then universe, bring it on. What have you got? Um, what have you got to, to, to show me? Why do you feel as if you can um, hold back um, or hold me back from my success? So it's, you know, you've got the fighting spirit behind you um, with this new, this new goal. Um, and, you know, lots of good feelings are coming from this. So um, look out for, for that project. Um, it's, it's, it's going well. Okay, so that was Capricorn. We've got a few comments coming up here. So hello, Jill. Hi there, we'll be back for the air signs on Gemini. Okay. Um, they're all on one today because I'm doing a little bit of, um, I'm just doing little teasers this week because um, I haven't had much more time to do it. Hello, Tricia. Hello. Hello, Julie. Oh, thank you, Julie. So, okay. Right, so Capricorns. Let's have a look at Capricorns. Would you believe, would you believe you've got the same kind of cards, Capricorns? Okay. So Capricorns, very similar, okay, to what's going on with the Virgos, okay? Um, so what I see is there has been a lot of battles, okay? Um, and these battles have been, you know, hindering you, holding you back from, um, for going forward and achieving more than you thought. Um, and what then happens is that you might have to do a different, go about it in a different way, uh, change your tactics, uh, maybe change what business idea that you've got going on um, and choose something a bit different. Either way, these changes are going to um, help things along because I'm seeing a lot more positivity. Um, I feel that, yes, there is a small obstacle that you're needing to get past, um, but um, the focus energy and this sheer determination is gonna push you through, okay, um, linking with this success. Um, they are indicating that sometimes you have to keep um, some of your plans quiet. Don't tell too many people about this. Um, because other other times, um, you know, these people can steal your ideas or they can put you off in some way by talking negatively about your plan. OK, so be careful who you share the information with. OK, um, this week. Um, yeah, so the, the cards are basically really coming out with um, success triumph okay taking that gamble okay understanding um the the new direction and what you can achieve if you put your mind to it okay i'm seeing public acclaim and triumph and um real solid achievement energy um and uh, lots of smiles and lots of happiness going on with um capricorns okay so that is all the air sign, sorry, the earth signs. We're now going to do the fire signs. Okay, we'll put all the cards back there. Okay, so we'll start off with Leo. Okay, and then Sagittarius, then Aries. Okay. Right. 
Leo. So Leo, Leo, Leos. Um, hi, Brittany. Um, this is Greg's daughter. She's a Leo. And so is Sharon Poe. Okay, so Leo for next week. So Leo, um, make sure that you aren't staying kind of trapped in a fear element of failure um, rather than stepping forward and trying new things out, okay? Or pushing a project to that, that next level, okay? Make sure that you, um, that you give everything your, you, everything you've got um, because I feel that um, for some of you, for some of you Leos, I think that, you know, you, you've got to this stage where you have already got something going on that's successful. It's like, um, or it's a, it's a fail safe. Um, I'm already earning money doing this, or I'm already achieving this. I don't really want to rock the boat and I don't really want to uh, change things. Um, just in case it fails or just in case this. I feel that you're, you're needing here and um, to open your eyes and see that things could get even brighter, even more successful. Um, if only you took on um, just a little bit of, um, of, of a risk. Does that make sense? You know, um, we've got the sun card, which indicates happiness and brightness and um, euphoria energy. And this is linking around um, saving, okay, saving or, um, you know, accumulating money, accumulated pressure. Um, it, it's, it's like, and, and when this accumulates, um, it's either gonna, it gonna implode and cause uh, problems because all of this ambition energy inside you needs to go somewhere it needs to be directed otherwise your inner child is saying you know what about us we want to try something different um, we are ready to achieve more um, and you can see this hoarding of um, of energy a hoarding of time or hoarding of an idea um, it, and not letting it flow not letting it go forward now if you did this is what's coming. You see what I mean? If you took that chance or you tested yourself somehow um, into what it is that you can get. I mean, this is the sun card. Um, this deck is my new deck. And also I'm raffling off um, a deck of these as well. And this is the Light Seers Tarot. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, and it is by Chris Ann. Uh, the Light Seers Tarot, Chris Ann. Okay, so this is being raffled for one pound or um, works out two dollars. Okay, so if anybody wants to join in, you can just message me. Um, there's going to be, to do with your emotions, I feel that you have got to let go and walk away um, from an emotional situation that is bringing you uh, down. It's making you feel um, agitated or um controlled um or manipulated and it's like i'm done i don't want to feel like this anymore um so yeah there's this breaking free energy of a controlling situation or controlling person um the world card turns up at this point and says that everything that you've been worried about is going to turn out to be far better than you could have dreamed of okay um Find that inner um, that inner energy that says I'm a doer. You know, I'm not just going to um, think about all the things I could do. I'm going to actually do it. Okay. So with every single week, there is always a running theme, um, and every single week is different. Now this week, it's all about projects finishing projects or starting projects or 
you know, projects about ambitions and, you know, frightened of failure and focusing. Um, so that's the theme that's running on at this uh, moment. So hi, Tricia. So. Okay. Oh, hi, Desiree. Hello, Vera. Hello, Jill. Okay. The comments are there. Okay. So let's go into now Sagittarius. This is one of mine, Sagittarius. Um, so I think I've got Sagittarius moon. Okay, so Sagittarius, you're going to start off this week uh, with being very feisty, okay? It's like, don't wrestle with me because I'm going to win. Um, don't doubt me because I will make it, make you believe in me. Um, don't put something in my mind that isn't there. Um, I am a successful person. So very much all these positive statements are all around you. Um, there is a new energy coming in, linking with your emotions as well, and a feeling of, I want change. Um, I am ready for change, or I'm ready to be loved, cherished, and adored. I'm ready to achieve um, more in my love life or in my personal life. Um, you know, this is the, the kind of energy. So linking with your home life, I see uh, lots of DIY and changes going on um, within the home and having plans about your home as well. Um, I'm feeling as if there's gonna be discussions and talks um, about travel plans or going somewhere um, because this feels as if it's, um, um, it's something that I know I've got to do or I'm looking forward to the time when I'm traveling or, you know, it's like setting up stepping stones um, about where you're going and what you're doing. OK, and um, this to me feels as if it's linking with, you know, future travel plans um, and excitement of that. Um, Ten of Swords, um, to me, is where you sometimes feel fed up and feel as if, well, is this it? Um, and that restless feeling is going to pour out into your heart area where you are then um, understanding and, and having ideas about your love life about what it is that you want um how you're going to achieve it um so and you know with this feisty fire energy this ambition as well so you've got a very strong um lineup of cards that is linked with um earth fire air and water does that make sense so all of those energies are you know um coming in and playing so, um, yeah, and it's all about kind of whatever, wherever you are now, it's all about having the plans set in place so that when you can and, you know, and, and whatever you've decided, you're not going to just be talking about it. You're going to achieve it and do it. So this is all about, you know, what happens next? Where are we going after? You know, um, I'm not going to stay here because I want more. OK, so it's all about plans for the future, excitement about the future um, and focused energy. OK, so that was Sagittarius. Aries. OK, I know our lovely Vera is Aries. OK. So you came just in time. What are you, Desiree? What birth sign are you? I can't remember. Okay, so this is for Vera and for all other Aryans out there. Okay, someone around you has either, either tried to break your heart or they, they have kind of made you really think about um, you know, the trust that you have in people or the trust that you have in 
your love life and your emotions. Um, you're having to deal with uh, emotional situations that um, are very painful. Um, and this isn't, um, this isn't a battle that you want to have. Um, and it's like I need to, it's like I need to kind of um, understand that the tower sometimes has to come in uh, somebody's life in order for everything to, to, to change. Because sometimes it's like the universe keeps saying to us, um, we are, what are they saying to me? Okay, sometimes they're saying to us that, that you know, you need to change this or this isn't working. Your inner child is saying, I'm unhappy, please help me. You know, why are you not doing this? What is, what is going on with that? Okay, and uh, we're ignoring it and carrying on, you know, and we're doing the same old, same old every single day. And we're moaning about it to our friends and saying, oh, you know, this is not, not right. And I'm so unhappy in my work or I'm so unhappy in my relationship or, you know, he's done it again or she's done it again. And just, I mean, and we go over and over and over it. Um, to the point where it's like we're pulling our hair out. And um, what then happens is the universal energy comes along and shakes up your world because you have been, giving, been given hints and been given all, this, um, all these decisions and you haven't done anything about it. You haven't taken any of these up. So the universe comes along, shakes it all up. And so you, you now have to. OK, there is no holding back now. This is how it is. What are you going to do about it? Um, so I feel it's going to be one of those kind of tower moments, um, I'm afraid, um, Aries. Now, the only time this wouldn't affect you in this way is if you have been listening already to the universal energy who have said you need to shake things up. It's like, OK, I'm going to shake things up. Um, you need to change because you're not happy with that. OK, I need to change. I'm going to do that. Or I have actually put into place all these changes. Does that make sense? So if you have been already um, sorting the things out um, and making your life the happy, happiest it can possibly be, um, then this isn't going to affect you that way. But if you have been ignoring uh, the signs, then it's going to be um, pretty, um, pretty strong for you, I'm afraid, Aries. Um, trust and it will happen okay um so this is a very clear um feeling of that you are you're on a mission to find happiness you're on a mission to to be successful to kind of blend forward just i mean with your life and what it is you know and and but not to struggle not to have fear and pain and negative energy because as soon as you've got that going on you're not living your true happy life okay and you're not learning any lessons you're kind of making it more stagnant um so what's happening this is um what's happening this is going to go forward with better um better energy after this shake up so look out for the shake up um, um aries OK, um, you know, don't see it as bad, see it as changing. OK, so we've now got Aquarius and then Gemini and then Libra. OK, so. So how is everybody? Let's see how everybody is. Oh, what's happening with disrespectful? <laughs> oh, we got this again going on where people are trying to tell for business. Lesson. I will block. There you go. They are they are blocked. Era. I mean, I 
I'm such a, I'm the sort of person that if, um, if I've got a friend on here who is um, a reader, a fellow reader, or, you know, they do things um, as well, you know, they, they're good at what they do. I quite happily say, add your name, add your number, um, you know, come and do a talk or demonstration, um, you know, for me and, and my friends. But I don't like it when somebody I don't know does it because I think it's rude. So quite rightly so. Thank you for standing up for me, guys, in the chat. You're very, very kind. Um, and uh, I always feel looked after with you guys in the chat. You always make sure that I'm all right. So I love you guys so much. <laughs> I've got them in my lives too. Yeah, it's it's just the way it is. We've, you know, we, we have to put up with this, I know, but um, it is kind of like a, um, it's like an automated thing. It feels as if it's automated, not an actual person. Um, so, right, so we're gonna go into Aquarius now. So Aquarius, then Gemini, and then Libra. Okay. Aquarius. Great. So Aquarius energies, and this is for the 16th of March through to the 21st of March, 2021. Okay, Aquarius. Lovely. Okay, so I'm seeing a get together celebration. Now I know a lot of people are in the lockdown energy, um, but I can't help what I'm seeing. I'm definitely seeing, um, you know, party energy, um, success, happiness, drinks raised, um, lots of positivity around you or around, um, you know, family members, that sort of thing. Um, we have got the secret card. So I wonder if they're doing it in secret um, because they're not supposed to be um, getting together like that. I don't know. Um, but um, I definitely have got the, the party energy. I want to show you the card. These cards are just so beautiful. Um, I'm going to do a review on them. Um, I don't know if you can see that um, there. Um, but it's wonderful. Um, let me go into... There we go. I didn't have, um, I didn't have my, my live thing up. Uh, so I didn't know if you could see the card. So anyway, there's the card. It's celebration time. You can see they're having a good time. They're enjoying themselves. Okay. But uh, these cards are just very colorful, very bright. Um, and we've got my kind of secretive energy. Okay. So it's being secretive. Um, there is a business plan. I'm seeing a business plan and, a, and a, a, it's like, right, this would make money or this is what people need right now. Um, I know that. Let's start this off. So um, so it's either you're talking to a friend about a business plan or you're starting to create it yourself. Either way, it's coming from a get together um, with people um, of like minds. OK, this new idea and ambition is going to take shape quite quickly. Um, and I feel that you're going to need to rest up because it is about to get very, very busy. Um, I'm seeing a romantic gesture around you or a kindness around you that can't be, um, you can't ignore. It is that, um, it's that vibrant and that happy, um, this um, lovely uh, kind gesture. Um, and it's going to make you feel in a very good mood. It's going to make you feel as though you know, um, I am appreciated, and I am looked after, um, and all is well, okay? Um, I feel that music is going to be the key to keeping you buoyant and happy. Um, it's going to be making, um, making it very, very um, easy to be, um, to be happy, and this is going to be because of music, okay? So um, look out for music around you. I'm seeing a lot of you dancing around your living rooms. Does that make sense on your own um, and enjoying that kind of 
uh, lovely energy that uh, that music can give you. OK, so that is Aquarius. Gemini's OK, Gemini's. <laughs> oh. oh, we've got another pleb, have we? We've got another one. Okay. Let's have a look. I'm just going to block another one. Okay. They're blocked as well, Vera and Desiree. Thank you, darlings. Pointing them out. <laughs> Bless them. There is extra spam tonight, isn't there? I know these Lightseer's Tarot are beautiful cards. I, um, I mean, I love my cosmic deck, obviously, they're my Bible deck. Um, but these these are so colourful and so joyful and I love them. So Gemini, Gemini, Gemini's. Okay, 16th to the 21st of March, 2021. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Right. So very family orientated at this time, uh, Gemini. So you're thinking about family. You're thinking about close friends who are liked, like family. Um, it's going to be a powerful time of togetherness. Um, if you're not able to be around your family, then um, this will actually be getting to you because I feel that this strong pull of family unit, okay, um, is, is getting stronger and stronger. Um, I feel that you are saying to the universal energy, well, come on then, do your worst, you know? Um, I'm, I'm gonna be with my family or I want to spend time uh, with my loved ones um, and that, that's how it is. So I feel that you are being very, um, it's like carefree. Does that make sense? And you're thinking of the emotional well-being of yourself and your family. OK, that sort of um, wonderful energy um, of um, knowing. Does that make sense? I know this is going to be good for me and it's good for them and nothing bad is going to happen. Uh, we are meant to be together this is kind of so it's, it's kind of being in charge of your sensitivity um, and your gut feelings i'm seeing public acclaim and triumph i'm seeing lots of people clapping their hands saying well done or congratulations that's fantastic news um, and that is going to lead you um, to new ideas more ideas going off about your future and what it is that you're going to be doing and i feel there's links around your family links around ideas um, around your family um, and having that feistiness. Um, there's a lot of emotional decisions that you're going to be making that is, as well as family. Um, and a trust energy is just gonna be um, very, very strong around you. Um, taking that leap forward, um, not knowing where it's going, but saying I'm going anyway. And I feel this is all to do with, again, a running theme um, with all of the readings so far. It's all to do with something you're passionate about. It's linked with ambition. It's linked with uh, focus energy. And it's linked with I'm going to achieve um, or I'm going to get what it is that I want. So it's the rising up energy and not backing down. OK. Um, yeah. So very, very strong, um, strong, strong feelings there. OK. So that's Gemini. We're now going to go into Libra. OK, so Libra. Let's have a look at Libra. This is mine as well, but it's also Greg's. 
Greg is a triple Libra and I've got Libra rising. Okay, so it's one of those light bulb moments. So make sure that you've got a pen and paper um, in your hand or around you um, often because um, these ideas are just gonna keep going. Here's another beautiful card. Can you see the light bulbs happening? Okay, and all of these you know, new ideas. Um, I know that's what I'm going to do um, kind of moments. Um, looking out for people who claim to be good when actually they've got badness in their heart um, and you're going to be wheedling out the negative energies the negative people um, you know looking at um, people for what they are and going with that gut feeling um, you know if something doesn't feel right or somebody doesn't feel right and you're questioning their behavior or you're questioning what it is that they've they've accused maybe accused you of something that they've done themselves so there's a lot of contemplation to do with emotions and analyzing people's behaviors around you i feel that you're going to be going on a a trip or a journey and this is going to be quite sudden it's like i wasn't going you know this week um but i've decided you know it's going to happen do you see what i mean so it could be spur of the moment like you know one uh, wake up one day and say by the end of today i'm going to be um going off on this trip or this journey so it's like a quick change around okay um you're going to be having to make some firm decisions um about letting go walking away from a person or a situation that you can't change anymore it's like i'm done i'm done in um you know, whatever it is that you have been, um, you know, whatever games you have been playing, I am walking away from. I don't want this to be, um, I don't I don't want, I don't want to play these games anymore. It's all to do with mind games and it's all to do with an emotional situation. For some of you, it will be love life. For others of you, it will be maybe a family member or a friend, does that make sense, who's, who's basically, um, playing silly games okay and you're trying not to get interested in it um, there is going to be a strong feeling of plans for the future and like we've had this run on um, energy okay so uh, with nearly all of these readings this week um, is all about um, achieving what it is that you want to achieve or you need to achieve um, and is putting that achievement ahead of you know of other priorities sometimes it's like i need to reach forward i am capable of so much more um, and that's exactly what i'm going to get and i just want to finish on this card i just think this is so lovely um, so this is the 10 of pentacles look at um it's like you've got the the pet you've got the togetherness of family um, you've got the Ten of Pentacles, which is to do with uh, financial structure um, and achievement and getting what it is that you want. OK, and that lovely uh, glow of energy and that um, feeling of empowerment um, is going to be. I feel as if I need to turn over just a couple more. Yeah. So success is on your on its way. OK, um, success and achievement you know you can clearly see the triumphant energy you know um so yeah um look out for those good those good times you know but a lot of people it's like there's a the whole whole of these readings tonight there's an energy of i feel confined and i'm not going to be confined anymore I'm breaking down these walls that surround me or are stopping me uh, from finding my own happiness and for, um, you know, going for my dreams or my goals. Um, um, I'm not going to be held back from my family um, or my friendships. Um, I'm going to break down those, um, any structure that's stopping me. So, um, you know, the, the breaking down of the walls emotionally and ambition wise um, is the strongest 
feeling um, at this particular point in our lives. Um, and that's what's happening this week um, for all signs, I feel. So, so yeah. So what have we got? Let's read some of these. It's not, re let me read some of these comments. Overdid seasoning my chicken with cayenne pepper. Had to rinse it off to finish my dinner. <laughs> he was on fire, I bet, I bet. Okay, so I'm gonna go now, guys. Um, it's been it's been lovely, but I'm really tired. What I might do is finish off with um, something nice, actually. Um, should we see if anybody else wants to do? You know the record the um, readings we were doing. Sorry, the cards I was using. Um, the I've lost my video. There it is. <laughs> Um, so does anybody want to be part of the raffle before I draw it? I just need another 10 tickets sold, I think, um, in order for this to, so is there anybody out there who wants to add their name to this raffle? So it's the Lightseers raffle, Light, Lightseers Tarot, and it is the Lotus Flower. Um, let me find the Lotus Flower. because I'd like to start a new raffle off ASAP because um, I've got some other great prizes um, to set, set off. I've got these beautiful I'll wait to unfreeze. So, yes, yeah, this lotus flower um, candle holder and um, the light sears tarot cards. Okay. So, either one of those. Um, you, so, you basically pick uh, whether you want the, the lotus flower or the cards. Okay. So, and it's one pound which works out about $2. So if there is anybody who would like to have a go, I know a lot of people that are already on here, I think have even had a go at this already. Yeah, we've got Desiree, Vera. So it could be that you you guys have already done. Just, I just thought I would come on any um, come on anyway um, and just do this each time. Is it a pound? It's a pound if you're in England. If you are um, outside um, of the UK um, abroad, then you would it would be two dollars. Okay. These are the numbers that are available. Just going to oh. <laughs> I'm trying to see what I'm doing <laughs> as well. So they're the numbers that are available. Okay, so they are available ones. So what did we get here? You can always give it to me later, Tricia. Um, you, you know, I know that, you know, I, I go on trust, so. Um, hello, Elaine. So Elaine, you want 16 is, is gone, 21 is gone, and 24 has gone. Sorry about that, Elaine. All of those have gone. Three more random ones for you, Vera. Yeah. Why is it I can't see some of these comments? Why are they not coming up? This is very frustrating. Let me see if I can get more on my phone. There we go. Let's have a look. Make sure it's on. It's th phone. It's 32 comments. Oh, that's better. I can see more on my phone. Okay. 
so it's a um so trish is it a pound yeah put me down for three random tickets okay so vera i'm going to put you down for number two and number 12 and number 26 okay that's yours vera Uh, what numbers are available? Um, yeah, sorry, Elaine, all of those have gone. I will have three tickets. Can you pick me three random ones? Number 13. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, Trisha Gelza. And then two other random ones. So I've got number 17, Trisha. And number four. There you go, done yours. No worries, no worries. You can always send it later on. It's absolutely fine. So, the numbers that are available, let me just make sure that I've got that screen up so I can see. The numbers that are available, um, Elaine, are 14, 27, 29, 31, 37, 38, 39, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, okay? So I will show you the numbers, if you can see that. Okay. So let's have a look and see if I can, I can see. So I might, I might pull this tonight, I think. Why not? Shall I pull it tonight? I think this will be a good plan. of the top bit. We don't need that bit, do we? Okay. So number one is Julia Drew. Two is Vera. Three, Tina. Martinique. Four is Trisha. Julia. Drew is five. Desiree is number six. Dauphine Frazier is number seven. Vera, number eight. Des, number nine. Crystal Princess, ten. My lovely Greg Prescott is eleven. Vera is number 12. Trisha is number 13. Number 14 is still available. Julia Drew is 15 and Serena is 16. Trisha Gelda is 17. Crystal Princess 18. Trisha Gelder is 19, 
Julia Drew, 20, Stephanie Allen, 21, Greg Prescott, 22, Julia Drew, 23, Serena, 24, Julia Drew, 25, Vera, 26, number 27 is still available, Stephanie Allen, 28, 29, still available. Julia Drew, 30. 31, still available. 32, Julia Drew, where have we got? So, Elaine, yep. Yeah. Let's put you down for those, 42. Elaine Carlisle. Uh, 46, Lane Carlisle. You all did so well in trance, by the way, you guys. So impressed with you lot. We did a trance lesson. Okay, you're down for those. So Tina Martinique, 33. Crystal Princess, 34. Julia Drew, 35. Phil Christophers, 36. 37, 38, 39 are still available. Julia Drew, 40. And the 41 is available. 42 is a lane. 43, 44, 45 is available. 46 is Elaine and 48 is Elaine and number 47 is available. So we've got all of these tickets here. Okay, there isn't any more before I pull the raffle, make sure there's nobody else. Okay, so I'm going to use the little box, actually, um, that the cards came in. So I've put them all in here, okay? So let's have a look and see. So I'm pulling this raffle for the lotus flower and the tarot cards. So. Okay. There's two tickets there and I can't, <laughs> I can't separate them. <laughs> God. Okay, Trisha. Trisha Gelder, you win. Which one, number four? Which one would you like? Would you like the Lotus Flower or would you like the Light Seers Tarot? Oh, it's my man. Oh, hello, my darling. So, Trisha, you won. So, what would you like? Would you like the lotus flower? Or would you like uh, the light seer's tarot? And what I'm going to do is um, I've got random... like um, little mysterious, mysterious um, prizes. So, yeah, that one. So this is just an extra, okay, just a mystery prize. Okay, now. Oh, good, good. Okay, so this is for um, the random prize now, okay. So let's have a look. And this is Stephanie Allen. Stephanie Allen. So she's got this mystery, mystery gift. Um, she's got that. So I will send that out to Stephanie. 
So what would you like, Tricia? Taro or the lotus flower? I did them, Greg. I did all of them. I can't believe it, but they were only quickies. I did little quickies. The light seers tarot. Okay, Tricia, if you just um, inbox me your address and then I will send those out to you. Okay, so there you go. That is the raffle done. So um, the next raffle will probably be the Druid Craft. What shall I do? What do we fancy, guys? Shall I raffle off this um, Labradorite crystal ball? So it's Labradorite. Okay. So it's either that or it's the Druid Craft card. So um, I'll say one or the other. Okay, whichever one people want. Okay, so they're going to be the next, the next raffle um, we're going to do. Okay, but I'm going to go now because my voice is going, and I'm going to get a cup of uh, a cup of drink and something to eat quick. Um. Yeah, I could raffle my old bed, couldn't I? Yeah. Good. I'm pleased that you're, you're winning the cards. Um, sounds like you've had a bit of a week. So, so, yeah. Anyway, guys, I will see you again soon. Um, love to you all. And thanks for joining me. Take care. Bye. Bye, my darling. Sweet dreams. Bye.